YouTube, my name is Tajay, for those of you who do not know, and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I will be going over lab work, the facility I went to, and why I chose that facility, my doctor, the price of my doctor, and I'll also be showing you guys a picture of my doctor, so please stay tuned for that. Um, the last thing that I'll be going over in this video will be the recovery house. Um, I'm just going to explain a little bit of the recovery house and why I would recommend it or why I would not recommend it to others. Um, also, again, please stay tuned and continue to watch. Um, you guys are not going to want to miss this next video I'm going to drop. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, guys. Yes, well, the facility I went to was in Miami, Florida. It's called Mia Aesthetics. I'm sure many of you guys know who Mia Aesthetics is. Um, they have multiple locations, actually, um, one in Texas, and they have three in Miami. I did not know they had three in Miami until I got there, and I'm like, oh, okay, like, that's what's up. Um, also, they're opening up another location in Las Vegas, Nevada, so y'all be ready for that. <laughs> it's about to be lit. Everybody for that, everybody done. It's going to kind of become the new norm, honestly. That's just how I feel. I'm just being honest. <laughs> There was no real reason on why I chose this facility rather than another one. I was just on Facebook one day and I came across their ad and I clicked on it and I just did their virtual consultation. Um, it wasn't until I was involved with Mia Aesthetics is when I started doing my own research uh, with other facilities, but I just kind of chose to stick with them and just stick it out. A lot of I have I did receive a lot of questions on would I recommend this facility to another person or to others um i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna say i would recommend it because everybody has their own experience and just because i had a good experience doesn't mean another person will have a good experience you just have to do what's best for you and do your own research. All I can do here is really give you advice, the best advice, and hope that you make the best decision possible for you. And I'm gonna be honest, uh, Mia Aesthetics does not have the best track record. You know, um, they do have a few deaths under their belts. They could be better at communication and customer service. Like, at one point I was on the phone for a whole hour just trying to get through to somebody just to see if they received my lab work, you know? And I just think that that could be discouraging for a new patient, you know, sitting on the phone for a whole hour. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think they can work on some things. And like I said, they don't have the best track record. It's just really up to you. Do what's best for you. Do your own research. And that's just what I can say. Um, another thing is, is that something happened to me after my surgery that I am going to go over in my next video so please stay tuned and continue to watch for that because that's going to be pretty interesting and I'm going to break it all down to you um but I'm not going to say in this video just yet you guys <laughs> all right you guys so now we're going to go into a discussion about my doctor um here is a picture of my doctor her name is Dr. Willis um there's a few reasons on why I did book with her uh, we're going to go over those reasons right now. As you guys can see, she is black and she's a woman. I don't know about y'all, but I was so intrigued because of that. So that was one of the main reasons why I did book with her, honestly. Um, she was a new doctor. She had no deaths under her belts. Um, I also did speak with the facility and they let me know that she had all of her credentials. So there was no reason to be nervous. And that was another reason why I had so much faith. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, perfect. It was like too good to be true type of thing, you know. But I was I was really happy about that, honestly, you guys. Let's get to the real question. <laughs> you guys asked me how much was my doctor. My doctor at the time when I booked her because she was new, she was $3,500. Um, right now, because she is in high demand, I'm sure she's more, honestly. Um, but yes. I would definitely call the facility if you're interested in booking with her to see what her price is now. Okay, so I do want to say a few things when it comes to booking with your doctor. This is my opinion, okay? Don't have too many expectations because you can get disappointed. There's nothing wrong with being prepared and, you know, knowing what you want. 
but just don't have too high of expectations and don't think that you're gonna look like i'm just being honest kylie jenner you know what i mean like come on now be realistic everybody's body type is different and you just just hope for the best okay that's all i'm gonna say so yeah that's all i have to say about my doctor if you guys have any other questions about that please let me know and i will be more than happy to answer them so let's go ahead and move along okay so the next thing we're going to get into is lab work once you're done with your virtual consultation um the facility will reach out to you letting you know if you are a good candidate or not and if you are a good candidate you can go ahead and start the process of choosing what doctor you want if you do not have a doctor in mind at that moment, that's okay. They will send you a list of doctors and their location and their price. And you can go ahead and just look into them and choose it from there. So once you choose your doctor, you can lock in the price by putting down 10% of how much your doctor is. So let's just say hypothetically speaking, the doctor was $3,000, you'll have to put down $300. So that would be 10% of how much the doctor actually is, okay? So once you go ahead and do that, like once you put down your deposit, you can move forward with choosing your surgery day. All right, so after you choose your surgery day, they will let you know, uh, they will reach out to you 60 days prior through email, letting you know to get your lab work done. My advice to you guys, once you receive your lab work, go ahead and get right on it. Um, especially during this time when it was like, cause I got my surgery during COVID, it was extremely hard to get in contact with my PCP. So I would advise you guys again, once you receive your labs, get directly on. Once I was able to get in contact with my PCP, of course, I went ahead and scheduled an appointment. He wrote up those labs for me and I took that over to LabCorp, um, so I can go ahead and get my labs done. Again, of course, that was forwarded over to my doctor and my doctor forwarded over to my surgeon. Make sure you have a copy of your lab work. Just in case something happens, you at least have those papers to be able to forward over to the facility. Pay attention to what your doctor is writing up. In my situation, I had to go ahead and do go back to LabCorp twice because my doctor forgot one of my labs. So it was very frustrating and I was very irritated at the time. So that's why I say, when you get your labs, get on it, period. Next thing we're going to discuss is the recovery house. Um, it cost me about 12 to 1300 for seven days and six nights for the recovery house that I booked. Um, just a little advice, if you are booking a recovery house and going to Mia Aesthetics, make sure you book a recovery house that they are suggesting. Because if you don't, and let's just say they are not in good standing with that other recovery house, they will cancel your surgery. So I just want to make sure you are aware of that because they do communicate with these recovery houses, okay? Also, I just would recommend you guys to make sure you look at the reviews because not every recovery house is a good one. I have heard some horror stories and thank God I didn't have one. But yes, make sure you are looking at those reviews. All right, so I did get a question from someone and they asked me what I recommend a recovery house. To be quite honest, again, I'm always going to say, do your own research, but I would recommend it um, because of the simple fact that I had a wonderful experience with the recovery house and I learned a lot. I feel like I would have not known all of the things that I do know now if it wasn't for me being at the recovery house. So yes, honestly, that's one thing I am going to say. I would suggest you to stay at a recovery house. But okay, so you guys, that's the end of the video. I want to say thank you guys for all of your support again. And be on the lookout for that next video. All right, see you next time. Peace. <laughs>
Yeah, and honestly, if that's one of your first parts, you're gonna have lots of more after Let that. Let me see everyone's asses. You okay? Yeah. So, y'all, this is day four for me. Natalia is day three. Kendra is day two. And we all feel like shit. <laughs> we feel like shit. It's like 5.39 in the morning. And we're, we feel like shit. Like, it's just crazy. I want my back back. Look at how we look at how we look. <laughs> um, fun. Fun <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but you guys we feel like shit. Um hopefully we feel better later. Um I stopped taking my perks. I feel my hips, my ass, I feel it all today. Oh, my stomach hurts. Um, I don't have my flums in today. I think the other girls, the other two girls do. Yeah. I don't. Um, this shit hurts. <laughs> um, shit hurts. Um, How are you feeling? Mentally? Mentally, I'm drained. Mm. I'm hurting. Mm. <laughs> Emotionally, I'm oh. sad. <laughs> But yes, y'all. We're we'll keep it. We go. We go. Update y'all soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.